Dan Anhauser for Bizarre Home Decorating. Here today, talk about a simple repair of replacing the handle on your broken or on your Duet Light Rise shade or Applause Light Rise. Uh, so if you purchased a Hunter Douglas cellular shade from about 2015 or on to previous, um, chances are you might have, instead of having a handle on, it might look like this, where the handle is completely broken off. Move my cup out of the way here. And so this is an easy fix if you know what you're doing. Uh, if you don't, it can be tough and difficult and very frustrating. My first part I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the end cap off of one of these, off of one of the ends. And once you get the end cap off, now there's no end cap on this one, so I'm gonna slide it the other way. I'm gonna slide the whole bottom rail just right off. leaving the shade there. So now I have my, the three holes here for where the handle used to be. And inside there is the screw. And here is the little itty bitty screw that they use to hold it on. And I'll hold it up and it's actually a Torx screw, meaning it's a, like a star configuration. And what it is, is it's a T7 screw. So you need a special T7 screwdriver that goes right in there. And what I found and what we found here with our repair technicians, our installers, is you take the screw with the broken handle and you throw it out. Because what's gonna happen is it's, you're gonna keep running into issues with it. Um, the best way is when we, get, when we get, anytime we give customers handles or when we replace handles ourselves here, is that we just use a brand new screw. And what we'll do is we'll take this and the first thing we're gonna do is we're not gonna put it through here. Instead, we're gonna put the screw right in the handle and we're gonna open up the hole that's already there by putting the screw in. Uh, this might seem counterintuitive, but one thing that we found is trying to get the screwdriver in and put the screw into the handle all at the same time the first time is that screw strips out incredibly easy. So we'll take this, we'll put the wonderful Hunter Douglas logo on the top because it has your little indent for your hand and that'll go in and then I'll take the screw and put it right in the middle hole and once you get it on tight now you have your handle back on what we'll do is we'll take the shade we'll lay it down flat and now all we want is just the first pleat on the bottom and i'm going to put it in the rail right here so it's you want to make sure that they're not long way up and down that they're um, parallel to the ground so that way it fits right into the rail. Uh, if you didn't move it around much when you took the rail off, this should go back on pretty easily. And you always wanna make sure that the rail adjusters go through because then if you don't, when you get to the point of wanting to adjust it through the holes, you won't be able to access that adjuster. So it takes just a little extra minute to get that on. Once you slide it all the way on, put your end cap back on. If you have a little dead blow hammer, you can use that to tap it back on. And now we have our handle replaced on our 